Let's get this race on the go. Man, oh man, am I ever nervous for both these runners. Both these runners deserve a shot at the $700 cash prize. Both of them have earned the $700 cash prize. And with that, whoo baby. All right, so we're going to start with uh, Maiba's audio first. We're going to switch back and forth in World 1. Make sure uh, make sure both audios are going okay. Um, Haxer naturally has lower audio, so we're going to see how it goes. I got chat closed. I'm glad you guys are ready, and I'm going to give him the countdown. All right. All right. Three, two, one. Go! Woo! All right. And just like that. Nice. Maiva's got great audio. So we're probably going to use Maiva's audio the whole time. All right. And both runners. Maiva is not going to do the pipe rub in 1-1. One, one. Haxer is going to do the pipe rub. That seems to be... Um, the, the standard, Haxer has played in a lot of, uh, SMB3 races and tournaments, and he knows that the, some of the best case scenario is to do the, the pipe rub in 1-1. One, one. So, before we get too hot into this run, just remember, the first in World 1, in World 1, we have the first frame jump from the Hammer Brother gets you a point, and also ducking on the entire airship will give you two points. So that, that is what we're looking for in World 1 right now. That's all we need. That's it. Both runners getting early P-Speed. Both runners having Fire Flower in their first card. Haxer opting for a quick little turn back there to make sure he doesn't get another flower, which is pretty good. And uh, both runners getting the same Hammer Brother movements. Uh, different places, but the same movements of one and two. So this is interesting. Both runners do their own take on uh, avoiding the orb there. And look at this sinkage. Maiba misses it. And Haxer is going to be able to take that time lead right there. But what we we've seen it before, guys, in tournaments that it does not matter, right? This this is not something that matters here. This this little time loss from Maiba, not a big thing. Both runners still getting movements of two. Neither runner can catch up with Hammer Brothers right here. Gonna go for the damage boost. Haxer losing his P speed, not a big deal. Gets it back. He's ready to go. No tunnel. See if Maiba goes for the, the tunnel. He is going for the tunnel. Oh, and he doesn't get the MFP tunnel. That's an MFP Shang if I've seen one right there. Both runners very neck and neck. Let's see. Are, is either runner going to do the Hammer Brother battle right now? And not for Haxer yet. And Maiba is going to have to do early battle. So let's see. He does not get the frame perfect jump at the start. So this could be, um, this could be a good time for Haxer to take the advantage here. Uh, with points, especially if he messes up the duck on the airship, he's only down by one point. So, that could be, uh, interesting later on. Maybe that one point could make the difference. Haxer getting a movement of one. Both runners are gonna have to get Fire Flower, and Haxer gets the frame jump at the start. Exactly what we were just talking about. Gets the frame jump right at the start right there. But, both runners are going to have to get the Fire Flower while staying duck on the airship. Very interesting. I think it's um I think it's pretty difficult to actually get the fire flower while ducking, and uh, if you can get it from the hammer brother, I think it it, it makes it much uh, so much more relaxing. I don't well I don't know if relaxing is the right word to use, but it's it's not as bad. I mean you don't have to do as many turnbacks. I mean we have seen some runners use the actual scroll itself to push the runner, right? To push the player, and they don't even have to jump or stay duck. So it's um. Haxer has not been able to really do the ducking as well as some other runners, but I think he has been learning and practicing and realizing that he has to start getting these two points on the airship if he wants to contend for the finals, if he wants to win. Neither runner is ducking. Haxer's still fine, it looks like. He has not ducked on the airship, and he is good to go. And just like that, Maiba as well, good to go as well. Both runners nailing it. One point difference right there. That's it. Could that be the difference? Could that be the difference? Could that be the difference? So, so we already know World 4 Airship Haxer is going to preemptively use his lifeline, regardless of the situation. Now, the only thing I have to say to that is that if you're playing well and you have the majority of the points that you can only get by that time, what would be the point? the odds of your your opponent beating you 
um, would be very small in points. And if they're beating you in time, a lifeline's not going to help you um, with time. It might help you later, but we'll see. We'll see. I, he's got it. He's got a strategy. All right. The man has a plan. And let's see how he used it. Maiba going for the D lag strat in uh, two one there. Let's try and save a couple frames. Just like that. Hopefully he doesn't get a fire flower here. And he does not. So both runners are looking pretty clean here. Axer gets a movement to the left. That's bad for a movement of two. Maiba gets the exact same movement. Go for the sliding strat. Both runner looking good. Is, e is, is either runner going to fall in the mode of tears though? Big time loss for that. Maiba does a wall rub. No moat. No moat for either runner. That's good. And I'd say Hax has got about a four second time lead, it looks like, right? Hax are still getting a movement of two when all odds were against them. Maiba instantly getting a movement of one. And Hax are getting early P-Speed. Maiba also getting a slightly earlier P-Speed. Gonna try and save some of those frames back. And he's also getting movements of one. Right? If Hax gets all movements of two and then gets a movement of one at the end, versus Maiba getting all movements of one right away, the, the points will be the same and Maiba will definitely catch up in time, right? That's a, that's a good question. Both runners still have their fire flowers. Looking pretty good. Maiba with the 280, right? That early P speed. Haxer gets still a movement of two, forced to fight the music box. Maiba is also gonna go for the Maiba, uh, <laughs> Maiba's gonna go for the Maiba box. All right, on, um, both runners get in the music box. I think that's like a defense usage, right? In case, if you're in any situation where that can help, um, it's worth having. All right, Maiba's starting to get movements to two. Both runners are very close to each other still. This is only race number one. Runners get the shell hit. Haxer hits the card at 624, essentially. Maiba hits it at 627. A little under three seconds right there. They weren't perfectly hitting them. Hacks are still getting movements of two. Maiba slowly saving time here on him. Both runners in the sun level having a little bit of buffering. Not a big deal, though. Not a big deal. Both runners are going to go for the sun. You have to kill both the suns in this game to get a point. Axer gets the first sun. Maiba goes for his waiting strat. He's gonna lose him some time there. But like we've seen before, it's all about what you're comfortable with, right? We have we have someone like Zikubi who just annihilated this entire game all season, right? Going fast, going fast, going fast. And then we have Aibuba doing the same thing, but kind of going at more of a comfortable pace for him. What works for him, what doesn't. And it turns out that that's kind of what needed to happen to beat Zikubi, so... I mean, Zikubi did get some unfortunate RNG, um, some couple slip-ups, but again, the comfortableness from Ibuba is, just goes to show that, like, you get these points, you stay comfortable, you're good to go. Ooh, and Haxer might be forced here to do a movement of one. Ooh, with the bump. So Maiba is actually going to have somewhat of an advantage here. He's going to be able to get this hammer, go straight to the Mushroom House now, then back down to the Pyramid. Haxer's gonna have to do this, go up, back down and around, then go back. Oh, it's so it's gonna be interesting to see uh, the loop-de-loops that these two runners have to do. Does Maiba get the Fire Flower? He does not get the Fire Flower, and Haxer gets the Fire Flower from the Pyramid. Looking pretty good. So one runner is on the pyramid, the other runner is not. I don't think either runner has gotten Flower Star Mushroom. Uh, we can totally ask chat. I don't I don't think we missed anything like that. Yeah, I don't think so. No one's got Flower Star Mushroom yet. But they're on their way. Oh, and Haxer gets the Fire Flower. This is the exact situation that I was talking about. Using that lifeline right now might not, you know, like he's, he's already has that advantage. All right, look at how close these runners are, and just like that, right? I mean, I in, in this situation, okay, picture picture this being World 4. I don't know what information I have for Haxer here. He's he's winning, like, you know, I can tell him he's in the lead. He's got a two-point advantage right now. 
Maiva has a star. He can't get the flower star mushroom just yet. All right. Wow. What a what an awesome world too. Both both players getting the sun, cleaning up some points here. Take a sip of that Red Bull. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Alright. Alright, Hax is gonna be the first one. Alright, here we go. Oh! Gets the random... Random- Oh, I, I guess he didn't have a choice, right? He couldn't go for fire kill. Where Maiva is going to be able to get the advantage of a little bit of time there, and look at that! Fire kill versus not fire kill. Wow. You have to remember, the points advantage having, you know, kind of gets slightly depleted if you lose in time, right? Haxer loses one point, and Maiva gains a point. First and second in time. Time is- Hey! There's way more points than there is time points. So, time is not a huge thing, but it really is. It's it's crazy. World 3, time to get tropical up in here. Let's go. Axe are in the lead, but Maiva does have the better audio, and so he's not too far behind, so we're gonna stick with the better audio. Axe doesn't have bad audio, it's just a little too low for us. We wanna, we wanna hear a little bit more, right? All right, both runners. Axer's on his way uh, to finish up some of these points that just kind of drag on through the run if you don't get if you don't take care of them early on, right? That flower. We've seen runners like Rupert um, struggling a lot with that flower star mushroom. It just really gets in the way sometimes if it's if it's just not connecting, right? And then you're thinking about it the whole time. You know, getting rid of it early is a very beneficial thing. My but not getting an optimal Hammer Brother movement here, but that's okay. Axer is also not out of the weeds for Runaway Bro. Both runners getting early peace being 3-2. You love to see it. Axer with the wall rub, Maiba with the not wall rub. And just like that, look at how close these runners are. Wow. Oh, and Haxer gets the flower! Not gonna be able to secure the flower star mushroom. And this is exactly what I'm talking about. Now he's gotta think about it. Now it's there, right? He's on, he's on his way to Runaway Bro, right? He's got all these stupid things he's gotta think about now. Let's see if it gets in his head at all. It, it shouldn't, but it is very possible for something like that to get into a runner's head. And my butt just missing the runaway bro, so he doesn't have to worry about it either. Hax has got the 44 coins, but he does have five, so he's not going to be able to get it. Ooh, Hax gets the flower, so he's starting off strong again. Meanwhile, my butt is not. My butt with the star. Hax are not getting run away. My butt in a great position right here. And just like that. These runners are neck and neck. Maiba missing up the orb. Who's gonna get door three? Haxer's not gonna go for it. Oh, and Maiba went for it and lost it. Haxer did not want to go for that door three. Doesn't want the door three point. Doesn't matter anyways, because Maiba didn't get it and lost the time because of it. Two different strategies we see, guys. Two different strategies. Haxer... Avoiding so that uh, that time loss is not gonna is not gonna matter The time gain is not gonna matter because he is now in a situation where he is ooh, and so is Maiba Also gonna music box both runners in an interesting scenario Wow the water versus not water and they only have you, you have two You have two uses of the music box right They're they're asleep for two levels so you got to avoid them that's it There you go just like that. No water battle for Haxor. And it looks like no water battle for Maiba. Just like that. Boom. Their inventory is very similar as well. Both runners are gonna have to take that time loss with the fortress. All because of that water battle. What a world three. Haxer with the flower star flower again. I know, I know. And it seems like Maiba, I don't know if he's going for flowers for the first card. I'm, I'm not sure. 
Are, are you guys positive Maiba didn't get Flower Star Mushroom in World 2 with, with level 3, 5, and no, because then level 3 Sun and the level 5? I, I don't know. I don't think, I really don't think so. Well, let's see. Let's see. Let's see if Maiba tries to go for Flower. He does, and he gets it! And just like that. Just like that. Moving to two. Both runners are out of here. Hacks are having somewhat of a lead. lead. Let's see whatever Hacks' feet touch the airship. How much time advantage does he have? Let's see. 14. About 1440.5, right? So let, let's just round up and say 1441 is when Hacks' feet touch the airship. 1441. Looks like Haxer is in the lead by over 10 seconds. Yes. So Haxer has the time lead of about 10 seconds right now. And he's ahead by two points. One of which being an RNG point that Maiba could get later on, depending on the, the Hammer Brothers. So he could definitely gain that time back. And um, Haxer isn't out of the weeds for using a Mushroom House. If the Hammer Brothers mess him around in World 4, he will have to do that Mushroom House anyways. And if the Hammer Brothers mess him around in World uh, 5, then it also, again, because if they've already used their music box in World 3, they got one music box left. If they use that in World 4, they can't use it in World 5. And if the P-Wing is in front of you in World 5 after getting a P-Wing for beating World 4, that's going to be a problem for your inventory. So these guys are in a very interesting situation by using that music box in World 3. That you never want to use a music box in World 3. And even in world record attempts or even speed run, there's no music box usage there. That's that's not a thing. It's only a thing in this format, right? So that's what makes it interesting. I know it sounds a little complicated, guys, but I, I got through it. I got through it. Yes, Haxer. So, so everything that happens from here on out is going to be very important for Haxer's lifeline because... Although he is using his lifeline early, you guys have to agree with me, there's not a whole lot of information I can really give him. You know, you're ahead by two points, you're ahead by ten seconds right now. Um, he didn't get Fire Flower from the Mushroom House, so you got that. Um, both of you had to use a music box in World 3, so in the exact same scenario, both had to do the, you know? Trying to figure out everything that I could tell him, and that's really it. Looking pretty good. Both runners going for the P speed. What's Maiba gonna do? Nice, Maiba's gonna go for the yeah, the sub pixel or sorry, not sub pixel, the P meter, the slight P meter manip, and he's gonna go for the D lag right there as well. Haxer not getting an optimal Hammer Brother movement there. He does get the movement of four. He's gonna lose time. Both runners getting a star. Can this be Flower Star Mushroom time for both runners? Haxer keeps getting Flower Star Flower. And uh, it's interesting to see how this is going to turn out. And he is right. He's one step away from it. Does a big jump. Doesn't keep E-Speed. Gets the mushroom, though. So he is going to knock that one out right now. Now it's Maiba's turn. Axler is in the punishment level, though. So let's... Hopefully he doesn't make a mistake here. And Maiba also gets the mushroom. So he's not going to be able to keep that advantage. Not going to be able to keep that advantage. Not for long. Especially if this level does not go the way he wants it to. Very important. Can't music box my bum, sorry. Oh, and Haxer! Wall rubs, takes damage, and he's actually gonna be punished a point right there. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is exactly what I was talking about. This level is dangerous. That 10 second advantage is also gone. And just like that, he's gonna be punished that point. He's gotta do the he's gotta do the boss battle. Is he gonna- is he gonna music box? Is he gonna fire flower? Very, very awkward situation. Maiba in the same boat. Oh, he's gonna use the- oh, oh no! Maiba with the mistake! Was that the right move? Was that- that's some valuable information for Haxer. Let me tell you, that is some- that is extremely valuable because Maiba no longer has a hammer. He has to do 6-1 and 6-3. He has to. He's got no hammer. I'm pretty sure that was a big mistake. That is... A... Maybe he forgot. I don't know. That's... And that's... That right there, man. That's a tough call. But if he can get enough time lead, he's not out of the weeds just yet.
Gonna go for the mushroom house. Maybe get some fire flower. No, no fire flower. Haxer is gonna go for cloud here. Gets the cloud. Maiba's sitting around. Gonna use this music box and get the heck out of there. Haxer also in the same situation. Oh man. So they have no music box for world five and this could drastically mess up their inventory. All this work, guys, for these points. Axe are flip-flopping just a little bit, not used to this backup. This would normally be reset zone, right? So uh, he's got to make do with what he's got. And Maiba is going to go to another mushroom house. Try and get this fire. I don't... He does not have time to be messing around here. Mainly because... And he doesn't get the fire flower. This is a very awkward... Uh, run for both of them. Maiba also doing double screen scroll here. Haxer cannot go to the mushroom house now, being as he did the other level. Gets early P-Speed. Haxer also gets early P-Speed. This is an in this is a very intense run, man. Both these runners are- they have to do some pathing here that is just not- <laughs> You can't practice for this, guys. They could not practice for this. Maiba does not get the switch. He's in the clear. Hacks are also in the clear for P-Wing after Cloud. And just like that, both runners will get that point as well. Oh, no. And just like that, ladies and gentlemen, Maiba's inventory is messed up. Just like that, ladies and gentlemen. Maiba's inventory. Not going to be able to get those two points. Maiba already has leaves touching in his inventory anyways. So yes, that's right. That is it. I'll ask Kaxer again. Lifeline? Just like that, I gave Haxer his lifeline. That is it, that is all. Oh, and Maiba goes right through the boss. That is what we have to watch out for all the time. Very unfortunate. Very unfortunate. But like I said before, Maiba does have to do 6-1 and 6-3. Now he is down a hammer and his inventory items are touching. Not ideal at all. Not ideal at all. And Haxer knows this, right? Haxer using his lifeline, I cannot believe it. I cannot believe, I cannot believe it. I cannot believe that, that the time Haxer, he just decides to use it preemptively. And now Haxer knows that Maiba's inventory's messed up. Haxer knows that Maiba has to do 6-1 and 6-3. So that is, uh, I mean, anything can go though, right? Anything can go. It's not, it's very far from over. Not having your fire flower in world five is a very big deal. Very big deal. All right, Haxer should be able to get P-Speed here. Nice, and he does nail it. He's trying to clean up, gain some time back on Maiba because 
as we know. However, the interesting thing about Maiba is his in he cannot get the inventory points, right? Which means he does not have to spend any more time worrying about it. Haxer, again, also, the Hammer Brothers switched on him, is in a situation where he has no music box, guys. Haxer has no music box. He has to get lucky here or else his inventory's capped. Either that or he goes to the Mushroom House, which, again, would be just a straight-up time loss. So, um, it's interesting. The Hammer Brothers did switch. And again, for my bet, doesn't matter what these Hammer Brothers do. Doesn't matter at all. Haxer's not in a position where these Hammer Brothers are, are going to work here. However, if he if he can get that, that star right there, it's right there, man, that star. He does have Fire Flower for this boss as well, so he's gonna gain a couple seconds back over Maiba. Maiba's not gonna be able to keep that time lead for too long. Come on, Maiba, you got this. All right, here we go. Maiba should be able, yeah, he does wanna pick up that P-Wing. Definitely wants to pick up that P-Wing here. Oh, and the Hammer Brothers switch for Haxer. He's gotta go to the Mushroom House, like I said. Gotta go to that Mushroom House. No bumps in the overworld for either runner just yet. So they're looking pretty good. We got somebody watching Haxer's audio, so we, we're okay with his side. Ooh, and not getting the match. Haxer also going for the flower matching game. Uh, let's see who gets it. Ooh, and they both get the same situation. Maiba taking damage here. Um, he gets the special tile! Maiba gets the special tile right there. And just like that, Hacks are not getting the special tile, unfortunately. Maiba gonna be able to use the star and get the mushroom from that special tile. That's actually really cool. Hacks are gonna go through, use the star, and just like that, they're out. Alright. They are tied in points right now, so Maiba just desperately needs Haxer to mess up his inventory, and that's it! Right? Then they're back on track! Like I said! Easy peasy! Studying those special tiles is one of the best things you can do in this tournament. Knowing on the fly. Hacks are losing P-Speed! Can he rebuild it though? He does rebuild it. He does rebuild it. Let's see how this goes. Is the vine gonna- Oh! The vine! Oh, a 279 doesn't get the 280. And Haxer does get the 280. Wow. What a twist. Like I said, that vine is a slippery one. Very, very unfortunate, but very fortunate for Haxer. That slippery vine, man. That slip and slide. No bumps yet from either runner. I've been making sure he's taking it nice and slow. I don't blame him. I don't want to go slow here. Hacks are going through. He's got he's got fire flower. He should be able to catch up a little bit here. Nice. Gets the P speed. Oh, and flubs it a bit. He's gonna be able to. Oh wow, that was scary. He did build up enough P speed to be able to make that gap though. I know that that gap is very weird. It's very weird. Nice. Maiba's gonna go for the mushroom house. He's, he's desperately trying to go for some points now, so this is, um, interesting to see how this is going. Not getting it, though. He cannot secure that. Hacks are wrong side. Does get the music box, though. And now Maiba is going to go for the spade matching game. And just like that, Haxer is going back for it. Oh, Maiba's close. Mushroom, mushroom. Ooh, flower for Haxer. And Maiba not getting it either. The roulette game. Tossing these guys around like ragdolls. Not being able to secure something of minigame status here. And with that, Haxer, they are synced, guys. They are... Look at the sinkage. Amazing. However, Haxer has already fought the Hammer Brother with the music box. So Haxer did take the time lead back. Both runners gonna go for the fortress. No Jesus clip. That's good. We don't want to see any Jesus clip. Very scary level here. Nice. Both runners taking it the way they they normally do. Oh, one getting dry bones. Hacks again. Dry bones. Man, that dry bones is in a horrible. I hate that dry bones. Nice. Just like that. Both runners get the boom boom. Get rid of that bam bam. Hacks is gonna go down. Mipe is gonna go left. We. I can't confirm Haxer has not bumped yet. 
Axel's not bumped yet, and neither has Maiba. Maiba's so close, man. Just gotta take it slow. Nice, okay. He's gonna go for the last spade card game. Haxer's not. This is a great advantage for Maiba if he can get it. This is it, dude. And he gets it! That is big for Maiba. That's gonna allow him to come back. And Haxer is out, and he did not bump on the overworld map. Maiba also, no bump zone as well. Gonna go for the early P speed. Very nice. Save about 10. Say about 10, maybe 11 frames there. Nice, looking good. Boom, there on the airship. Maiba has to do 6163. Has to do it. Just like that. Maiba, I want to give you that point, but you have to make it to the castle here. You have to make it to the castle. Come on. Right there, just like that, getting it. All right, moving on to World 6. World 6 is where we're gonna see the World 4 mistake on Maiba. This is where we're gonna see Maiba really having to accept his fate here with a close to a one minute time loss by using that hammer in World 4. And that hammer in World 4 didn't even help him. He, he did end up getting the exact same RNG as Haxer, which was a nightmare in World 4. Although, there's lots of points coming. Axe are not going to be able to go for fire kill. Fire kill on this boss for Warpless is... I mean, even if you have a, a little manipulation, it's just not even worth it, especially in a tournament format. There's just... You know, you could save time, maybe. But again, it's not worth it. And, and just look at Maiba. All the Mushroom Hests he's gone to, man. All the Mushroom Hests Maiba's gone to, and it just... As, it just Tossed him around, man. It just has not been his friend. Nice. Maiba going for the dope fire kill right there. Uh, mainly because of his inventory. So he is actually going to save time. On the contrary to everything that I just said, he definitely just proved me wrong. And it's going to work out. Haxer knows right now that he has a big time lead right here. Maiba does have to do 6 1 and 6 3. All right, Haxer has a very uncomfortable inventory. Already getting an up pattern. Already getting an up pattern here on, on uh, Haxer's side. So he's not going to be able to get that point. Also, avoiding coin ship. Not getting a marathon. That's good, too. And now we are looking at a 279 on Haxer's side here. 279 on Haxer's side. Maiba knows, man. Instantly knows. He's got to go. He's going to save a little bit of time. Oh, and he clips through the ledge and takes the death. The whole thing has crumbled beneath them, guys. The whole thing has crumbled beneath them. That World 4 mistake has resulted in a mistake just everywhere. Haxer also getting the 290. Maiba losing a point. Haxer gaining a point. And this is what you're afraid of, man. This is what you're afraid of. Losing points while your opponent is getting points. He's gonna grab that extra power up right there. Try and get through. Big jump, and he does make it. So he's probably in the clear now. That mistake is just not something uh, he expects to happen. Axer is going to get early P-Speed and 6-4. Make a clean sweep. And Maiba does also get high pattern, so that is not going to work out for him. Axer can still also get special tile. So this is interesting. All right. Axer getting the swoop swap. Using a P-Wing here right away. Maiba's going to have to do 6-3 here. And, and the unfortunate thing is Maiba is a 100% runner does know how to play this game 100% very well, and that death is just not something you'd expect to, to see from him. Also, doing two extra levels means he's got two extra end level cards. Are we going to see a difference in lives there? I mean, I know he's already died once, but I don't know. He's going to use the P-Wing. He wants, he wants that 279. He needs it. That's a good choice. Hacks are going to the Mushroom House first for the Hammer Suit. He does get it. Which is good, because he is going to be able to get the cloud here, which is right there. Which is not special tile, unfortunately. So he's he's going to have to avoid that special tile, but he is going to get lucky. But not with RNG. Maiba also, 280 right there. Maiba does get it. He does get the world six points, so he's not doing too bad. 
Hacks are not getting huge RNG points here. Missing out on the low bros, but that's okay. Making his way through. Maiba gonna come through. Does Maiba get early P-Speed? Maiba does get early P-Speed. <gasps> oh my gosh, that scared me. How did he rebuild his P-Speed? I have never seen that before. I thought he ran off the ledge and was doomed, but he was not. That was incredible. That was absolutely incredible. They got a couple points left. I mean, 6 4 3, fire clip on the airship. Uh, neither runner can get the low battles. That's fine. Haxer going for the special tile! And just like that, the clutch plays for Haxer. Studying his special tiles. Gonna go for the- gonna go for it, and there it is, just like that. Special tiles, guys. And now Haxer is going to be able to redeem that extra point right there. Bring him back up to 15. Gonna cost him time, but he has the time. He has the time. Wow. Special tile right there. Look at that. Maiba cannot get low patterns, so we'll see. Maiba had already gotten the special tile here. Maiba, nice. Maiba's in the right spot for the for the right hammer brother. That's good. Nice. Gonna get the smack. However, his first hammer brother was low battle, unfortunately. Axer's going to use a P-Wing here. Gonna use a P-Wing and a star. Maiba's gonna go back for the mushroom house. Really wants this fire flower right here. Is he going to get it though? Oh man! It just doesn't want to work for him. And now he's got to go for hammer suit here. Don't forget it. All right, he doesn't forget it. All right, Haxer, be the first to get the floor clip, man. Be the first. Get the floor clip. Two extra points. It's a big pointage. Oh, and he doesn't get it. If Maiba gets this though, he was practicing it. If he gets it. Right? That means he can actually bring that two-point swing back. That's a big advantage. Maiba doesn't seem to be too far behind, but he he is. He's quite a, he's about a minute or two. More than a minute actually. Alright, Haxer, out of there. Entering the airship. Might be getting movements of one, that's good for him. He's gonna try and clean sweep the rest of this world. Nice, very nice block grab. Very nice block grab. Nice side hunt, side, side jump, he should be able to get- Ooh, nice, I love the run across, I have seen that before. Is Maiba gonna pick up an extra life here? That's the question. Maybe he is from these extra levels. All right, Haxer's gotta get the airship clip here. Anyone's game. Maiba's gonna go for the 610 fire, try and clean up some P-Speed strategies. Nice, we've seen this strat done before. Haxer's gonna go for the clip here though, and he gets it first try, just like that. Haxer's going to be able to secure that clip right there. Axel on the airship. Maiba on his way. Maiba is definitely going to go for this clip here. Very exciting, man. If he gets this, this would be huge. And we've been watching him practice it. I want to see somebody get this or else it's never coming back. <gasps> so <laughs> close, dude. This is so close, man. All right, Axel's going to have to go for the stomps. What Maiba needs is Axel to accidentally go inside 7-1. Haxer gets subpixel 15 there. He should be good. Very, very nice subpixel manipulation for Haxer there. Just unbelievable here. Now Maiba is now on the airship while Haxer is getting off. So Maiba is about two minutes behind now, so it seems. A little bit over two minutes, I'd say. I have not had a chance to talk with chat because this race has been too crazy. How are you guys doing in chat today? How are you guys doing? How are you guys doing? Just a reminder, all of the support that I generate during these tournaments go directly towards the Season 3. Hacks are getting a second try, almost getting a first try, but does not matter. Does not matter. Does not matter. Right on. As long as you guys are having a good time, I'm having a good time. Alright, Mybit needs to get this clip so he does not get too far behind. He does get the clip, and just like that, he's not going to lose any time.
Very, very nice. Does not fall down. Looking pretty good. Gets the despawn and he is out of there. He's gonna get the fall fall. Just like that. I'm just gonna have to go for subpixel manipulation. There you go, he gets his own subpixel manipulation. Haxer, in a P-Speed 7-3, working his way to Item Abuse Island. Haxer's inventory is a little clogged here. A little clogged, so it's very possible. Very possible he could have some kind of brain fart or something where it results in him using an item in the wrong place, kind of getting him screwed over. So we might see him actually take some time and sit around, kind of watch. Yeah, watch his items, see how it goes. Is he gonna use the Tanuki here? I hope not. Hopefully he uses his P-Wing. Got an extra one. Yeah, he's gonna use his P-Wing. Maiba, you got five tries, bud. Come on. There you go, first try for Maiba. Just like that, these runners know how to sub-pixel manipulation. Absolutely incredible. Axel makes great work of the Boom Boom on his way out. He does have another P-Wing, so he should be in the clear here. Maiba on his way. Maiba would not be in a bad spot here had he not accidentally used that hammer in World 4. It wouldn't be as bad as it seems. It's like that. He's, he's just dumping all these mushroom houses and he just cannot get a fire flower. He just cannot get a fire flower. I just cannot believe this. He's trying to get as many points as he can. He knows he's behind. He knows he's losing, so he's trying to stack up points, which is the right thing to do. Just, those mushroom houses are just hating him right now. There's nothing he can do about it. Alright, Hax is gonna go use P-Speed, grab that star. Meanwhile, Maiba is going to get across the pit here in the desert. There it is. Very nice jump. Very gone. Hax is gonna make great work of this level. Looking pretty sweet, and he's right on through. We're not going to see a warpless 7-7, seven -seven, guys. Alright, here we go. We got mid clip in this level. He's gonna use his last P Wing. He's gonna use his last star. And it looks like Haxer's inventory is in the right position for me to be able to give him the point. Let me just double look one more time when he uses that music box, and we should be in the clear. Nice, he's gonna get rid of the blocks. He's gonna take the damage. Alright, mid clip, two tries. First try gets the mid clip, just like that right there. 18 points. Hacks are collecting up a lot of points here. We're already gonna move his card down to world eight here because there's nothing left for him in world seven. Did he grab the fire flower though? He did not, which means he's just gonna music box cloud and just like that, he is going to be awarded the two points. Just like that. There it is. Nice, Mipe is going to use the leaf here. He's gonna have the extra P-wing. Right, he's gonna have the extra, he does have two P-wings here. What an, what an insane run right now. Axer is on the airship. Probably not going to be able to go for the fire kill. Nice, Mime is going to use the P-Wing here. Get him out of there. And I mean, after this, he's only got two levels left and he's caught up to Haxer. Ah, that's right, Maiba does. He's going to have to watch his lives here. Alright, Maiba entering 7-8. We just watched Haxer do this. More or less gonna- Oh! Almost dies there, but he's more or less gonna do the same thing here. Grab the- Oh! That should be fine. It's gonna give him somewhat of a different pattern here. I hope he knows. Ah, uh, very nice. He does know his backup. Very, very nice. That level is- works on a global timer, so as soon as you come out of the pipe, the overworld map entering the level and everything you do in the level will determine uh, what patterns those patooies do. And yes, they are called patooies. The little piranha plants that shoot the little black balls in the air, those are called patooies.
Nice. He keeps the P-Wing here. Yeah, he does. First try didn't work. Ah, come on. He needed that. He cannot go down points anymore. He has to start collecting the same points that Haxer's getting. Very nice, though. He does make it. Haxer gets the first stomp. Second stomp. Boom. Just like that. Go for the off-screen wand grab. Uh, here, let's take a let's take a listen of Haxer's audio. We'll switch over to Haxer's audio. It's a little low, but we'll switch over. Nice. Maiva gonna go for the fortress. This level's very difficult. Very nice. Very nice. All right, that'll be that'll be a mild time save, but I mean, I don't know. I don't know how, like, I, I don't see him catching up here, right? All right, but we have, there are some World 8 RNG points. Very specific World 8 RNG points. I'm gonna use this music box and he's out of there. Anything can happen, right? I know we're not- so we're not gonna see sub-54 from either runner. At least I don't think so. Maybe? Maybe Haxer gets to sub-54? Depending on the hands, I think. Just, we're just kind of on auto scrollers right now, guys. I use this opportunity to kind of give my throat a little rest here. Uh, Haxer already made it public that he was using his lifeline, so Maiba knows that Haxer used his lifeline. Alright, this Haxer get Rangless. No, he does not get Rangless. There's something from Maiba. Something, right? A anything. Still, man, still both runners on the auto scrollers here. Maiba gets... He did not... He was unable to get the fire kill, but not a whole lot he can do about that. Yo, thank you very much for the support, guys. I very, very much appreciate it, man. All support goes directly towards a Season 3. Let's get these runners some, some stuff here. I'll go ahead and, and read some of these out. We got... Uh, TR Wise with the, uh, Tier 1 back for 9 months. Thank you very much. Magic Smoke back for 9 months as well. We have, um, Jesse Dickinson back for, or with the Twitch Prime. Thank you very much for the Twitch Prime. Uh, $25 donation from Sleepy Gopher. Thank you very much. Awesome tournament, and I'll keep coming back for the incredible commentary. Thank you very much. Sammy Cakes with the 100 bits as well. And Nato Lantis with the gift sub. Thank you very much, guys. Very, very much appreciate the support. Haxer, going against the hands here. It's hand number one. It's hand number one here. Nazi... Nazi Gni or something. Thank you for the Twitch Prime. Sorry, I don't know how to, I don't know how to pronounce your name, but thank you very much. Alright, Haxer getting hand one. Ooh, Haxer only getting one hand. 
only getting one hand. That's pretty good. That's pretty good for time. He might be on pace for sub 40, sub 54. That's some big points for him. If he gets, if he gets the sub 54, then I'm pretty sure he can take, he can, like, I'm pretty sure that wins them both games. Because that, there's a, that's a lot of points different right here. But we'll see. He's going for the save the animals right now. Nice. Maiba has not taken damage yet either, so he's in the clear. Wow, the wrenches. Just like that, he should be in the clear. Right on. Save the animals on Haxer's side. Alright, Maiba. Does Maiba get Wrangless? Oh! He does not get Wrangless. So close, though. Very unfortunate. He needed something needed something. Maiba's got to get all hands now. That's He's got to get all hands now. Actually gonna use a star. Oh, he's getting early P-speed. Makes his way through 8-1 and just like that, bam, bam, bleeby, bam. He's out of there. Moving on to A2. We're probably not going to see the same hammer shenanigans as last time. He's definitely, he's definitely got it underway. Gets the hammer kill, goes for the P-Speed hammer, and he is out of there. Gets the sun kill. Bada boom. He has not taken damage yet either, so he's still in the clear here. Still in the clear here. He's got no star, so he's gonna have to take it slow here. Nice, and he's past the point where the star would have helped him. Past the point. Maiba needs to get all three hands here. Maiba's gotta get all three hands here. He's gotta get as many points as he can. Not all three. That one little mistake that Maiba made. That one little mistake that Maiba made in World 4. Alright, go for save the animals on Maiba's side. Maiba does have the cloud though, so he only has these, these next few levels. Go for the save the animals. He needs to get as many points as he can at this point. We are going to give him second place here. Right? Because he is at he is at the second place point. Nice job. Using the using the spawn tricks. Just like that. Maiba is out of there with the no rocky kills. That's fantastic. That's what he needs. Very nice. Maiba's gotta get through this without taking damage. He's gotta keep up with the points here so he doesn't fall too far behind. Got a star here. He's got two levels left, then he's got his auto-scroller. He's doing pretty good. Alright, Haxer is now in Bowser's castle. As long as he doesn't have any fatal mistakes, falling in any lava, or doing anything weird, he should be in the clear. Oh my! been insane if he took damage there oh my goodness that was way too close for him he almost missed it 
Gets the 20 lives, the no damage first place. 20 lives, no damage, gets the first place. Maiba's got the cloud, uses it. Maiba did kill the sun as well. Maiba is also on his way for no damage and 20 lives. And just like that, so he's not... If Maiba can secure these 18 to 24 is not a massive difference. That one mistake that Maiba made. That one mistake that Maiba made, guys. One. He made one mistake. Well, he, he made a couple mistakes here and there. But, I mean, that using that hammer in World 4? God, you're definitely not used to that. Definitely not used to that. Is Mitch trying to whistle? Mitch is doing whatever he wants. That's what, that's what Mitch is doing, okay? Alright. Another game. 24 points. Only takes one mistake. I mean, if... if if he was gonna make a mistake anywhere in the game, I would have to say one the one that he made is not one that you would want to make. Very nice. Alright, here we go. So Maiba can get these two points back here. Uh, he only had one hammer zone, and he accidentally used it in World 4 to skip the fortress. Which means he had to do 6-1 and 6-3. Nice, he's got the 20 lives, as long as he doesn't take damage. Oh, and so because, because he did that, because he had to do 6-1 and 6-3, he actually accidentally died in 6-1. Right? Had he not had to do 6-1 at all, he wouldn't have had to die. Very nice. No damage, 20 lives. 18 to 24. 18 to 24. GG to our runners, man. They played very, very well. But there is going to be one more round between these two runners. Let's do this. All right. Three, two, one. Go! Whee! All right. Just like that, these runners are off! Oh man, I'm very excited for this, guys. I'm very excited, both runners. Maiba, 18 in the first race. Haxer, 24 in the first race. Haxer is actually not out of this yet. He is not guaranteed. Ha ha it is very possible for him to lose by 7 points. Anything can happen. I mean, if it happened to Maiba, which... For anyone who doesn't know, Haxer is technically the underdog when it comes to speedrunning and time in this. Maiba has a better 100% time than Haxer and a better warpless time than Haxer. So, technically he would be the underdog. And um, that's what makes it interesting with the points tournament because the points don't care how good your PB is. The points just want to be collected. The points just want to be collected. And that, that's how it goes. So, in World 1, we're talking about points, so what kind of points can we get in World 1? If you get the frame perfect jump on the hammer, brother, and if you get the duck, if you stay ducking on the entire ship, you would also get another point. Nice, Maiba with his own, his own method, different than last time, Haxer using his own method, both runners getting the leaf. See, now this time, Maiba's actually keeping the lead here. Very different. Alright, 1-5. Wow, these runners are neck and neck. Ooh, goes for the tunnel, doesn't get it. Haxer presses down by accident. Holy moly, and what a mistake on Haxer's side. Definitely didn't mean to do that. D-pad, gonna have to go for a clean. But Hax has a hand, what do you want me to do? Change his PB by 20 seconds because he got a hand? We all have hands in our PBs, man. PB is a PB, man. You can't make excuses. Your time is whatever it is. Haxer is gonna have to go for the backup mushroom here. Does nail it. So he is gonna be behind by a little bit of time here. But what we've seen in this tournament so far is not a huge deal. Not a huge deal here. That 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 time loss, I you can't. It's not big at all. Not enough. Not enough. All right. 
He does not get the jump. Haxer also doesn't get the jump. That was an advantage for Maiba. Maiba needed that. And neither runner, again, also does not have Fire Flower. All right, and they're off. The horses are off. Very, this is a very, very important point for both of these runners right here. Maiba gets the Fire Flower and he's to safety. Haxer's turn now. Oh, and Maiba takes damage and oh no, he froze. He froze. That right there, guys. Unless Haxer lets go, but that, that's too many points. Haxer does get it. Very, very nice on Haxer's side. That right there, guys, I think. Oh, Haxer goes right through the boss. <laughs> what? All right, all right. Not a huge time loss now. Not a huge time loss. Right through the boss. What a joke. I mean, if Maiba used this lifeline right now, I could be like, yeah, he got it. You didn't, so you have to collect some points here. But Maiba needs to get a sub-54 as well, right? It's very important. So I, I'm super excited to see how this is going to go. All right, Maiba in the lead right now. There's nothing holding him back. Staying in the lead. Haxer also doesn't have his Fire Flower as well. Very nice work on both sides. Maiba does have a star, though. We're gonna have to see how that goes. Axer gets a mushroom. He doesn't want to deal with that. Maiba gets a movement of left. Not the most ideal movement. You want him to move right so he gets deeper into those movements, too. And just like that, Axer does get the movement to the right. That's what you want to see. Axer with a slide strat. That's the jump. Neither runner is falling in the moat, right? Neither runner is in the moat. Very nice. Very nice. All right, no fanfare. Always, always makes me worried with Maiba here on the on the fanfares there with the two stars. But you know he's comfortable. He does what he needs to do. Gets it done. Gets a movement of two still. That's big. Gets early P speed. Let's see what Hax is gonna do. Probably the same thing with the extra stop. Oh, not even gonna go for it. Okay, okay. Maiba's gonna have a little bit of extra time here. Uh, I don't know if Haxer messed up his, his first jump or not. Um, it looked like he actually was just not going for it at all. I don't know. Maybe he was thinking about something else. Maybe he did go for it. Maybe he didn't go for it. Doesn't matter. What matters is that he, if he got it or not. He didn't. So, we're going to have to live with that. Neither runner is going to have Fire Flower on the Boom Boom, which is pretty good. I mean, if Haxer had Fire Flower, he would have definitely caught up to Maiba a little bit here and vice versa. Maiba could have taken more of a lead. Let's see what movement we get here. Movement of one, that's it. Maiba's out for the movement of two game. He'll catch up with time, man. This is a good spot for the Hammer Brother to be. Haxer gets another movement of two. Hammer Brother goes down, and Haxer's not going to avoid it. He is going to go for it. Boomerang Bro moving forward. Going to be a long pattern. And let's see what kind of movements of one versus two we get from both of our runners here. Haxer is he going to start getting movements of one. No, he's still getting some movements of two. That means that Hammer Brother is somewhere... Somewhere by the pyramid, probably. Nice, might get the good, good duck hit. Now it's Haxer's turn. Boom. Oh, he gets the flower right away! Right away, the first level. Maiba gets the flower. He said, I don't want to deal with that crap anymore, man. Alright, gets a movement of two. Hammer Brothers very close to where he needs to be. Haxer also getting a flower. This is a chance for Haxer to catch up. We have seen Maiba, the way he does the sun with the turtle shell. He forgot the first turtle shell. He's gonna grab the second one, I think. Yes, he is. Now he's gonna have to wait even longer with the sun. That's okay, he got it. Now Haxer's gonna go. Maiba's not gonna be able to build his P speed back. Haxer might be able to take the lead here. Oh! Definitely gonna take the lead here! Oh no, and he gets a flower! Oh man, what even happened there? That was a that was a very unfortunate thing to happen. He does get the movement of two. Fight that hammer brother now. Actually gets the movement of one. Woo! 
Ooh, man, oh man, what a wild ride. All right, Mibus definitely probably gonna go to the mushroom house now. He's right there, might as well go for it, that's right. Hacks are gonna, needs a mushroom here. Let's get a mushroom, Hacks are gonna be able to get that flower star mushroom. Maiba finally gets a fire flower, I am so happy. Out of all, he had to do so many mushroom houses, but he does get the fire flower. He is gonna do level four. Maybe he feels that that's, that's where it's at. Maybe he feels level four is where it's at. His hacks are gonna get as lucky as he got in the first race. Maiba almost takes damage. Doesn't get the fire flower, that is good. That is good, no fanfare. All right, Haxer's turn. Does he get the fire flower from the mushroom house? Can he get double lucky? Does not get double lucky, so he is in a situation now. Is he gonna go dumpster diving for mushroom houses and fire flowers and chests? I don't know. It all depends. Maiba is gonna show that he still has the lead here in time. But he is behind by two points. He's behind by two points. Neither runner got all movements of two. But Maiba can still get this flower. Nah, he doesn't get the flower. But they both did get the sun kill. The sun kill right there. Maiba's card's looking a little sad here. But it's not completely over for him. Alright. Just like that. Both runners are very close to the airship. This is pretty good. Right, Haxer did get Flower Star Mushroom right there. We, he got it. He got it. Very, very nice race so far. Maiba switching the tables here and taking the time lead. Switching the tables and definitely taking the time lead here. This is, um, you know, taking some points away from Haxer could be, could be another method of trying. Um, trying to get that, especially sub-54 as well. He's not hurting too much for time. Alright. Fire kill versus not fire kill. Let's see if either one is going to go for it. Maiba gets the fire kill. Let's see if Haxer gets it. Haxer does get it. Goes for off-screen wand grab. Does not get the off-screen wand grab. And Maiba is still going to keep that lead. Wow. Incredible race, guys. I love this tournament. I don't want it to be over either. It's made it's made these last like month and a bit like so exciting with these races and, and all these runners. Man, they've impressed me so much. They've all played so freaking well. And I just absolutely love it. I think it's fantastic. Everything that's happening so far. Maiba is going to be the first one for Tropical Land. AKA the rest of the world. Let's go. Let's get the frame jump. Where was that on the Hammer Brother in World 1, Maiba? Where was that? Hacks are also not getting a frame perfect jump in the world that won Hammer Brother, which is fine. Not a whole lot goes on in this level, guys. Not a whole lot in this level. Pretty open, pretty open concept here. Nice. So, uh, Maiba is behind by one point there with the Flower Star Mushroom. Not a huge deal, though, because da -da -da -da, he can still get it throughout the run. Gonna go for the early P speed in 3-2. This is gonna be a big deal for keeping that lead, and he does get the early P speed as long as he doesn't muck it up. He should be all right. Haxer needs to get this so he doesn't bleed too much time. Haxer also gets it. And again, like I said, you know, gotta make sure you not make any mistakes. Just like that, he's out of there. Perfectly fine. Very nice. He does have 33 coins, though. Not gonna be a huge effect here. Maiba also has 33 coins. Very scary, and Maiba is... Very safe from Runaway Bro right here. Very safe. Let's see how Haxer's doing. Haxer's not entirely safe from Runaway. It's, it's, he's not out of it yet. I'm gonna go for the early P speed from both runners. Both runners do get it. Let's see what kind of coin count they get at the end of this. Very nice. 41. Haxer's probably gonna also have pretty close to 41 as well. He gets two coins here. Does get two coins, 41. So neither runner have to worry about coin ship. All right, and now Maiba gets the mushroom, so not gonna be exactly what he wants, but Maiba is set up for both points in World 3. He's gonna go for door three. 
Always messing up that jump. Very interesting. Goes for door three. He does not get door three. Haxer is also not going to go for door three. He's going to be able to catch up in time. And just like that, Haxer clean sweeps his way past. He does not get the door three. Very, very unfortunate. Maiba did practice the door three strats, and that's going to cost him his time lead, man. Now we're going to have to see what happens after this. Both, both, uh, both runners have the exact same hammer brother position right now, I'm pretty sure. Haxer goes down. Haxer should be in the clear. You might have to get water battle here, though. Maiba in a great position. Maiba might be stuck in a scenario, though. If that Hammer Brother moves up by Runaway, he might have to sacrifice Special Tile for it. Which, uh, you don't want that to happen. Hacks are also in an uncomfortable position. If that Hammer Brother goes back for the water, then what's he gonna do? Is he gonna avoid and be in the same situation as last time? Well, Maiba can come and clean sweep two points. Let's see what happens, and Haxer gets the good RNG. Maiba! Does not get the same good RNG. Maiba is going to have to do no water battle. Save the special tile for later. And Haxer does get the special tile right there. Boom. Special tile right away. Nice. Maiba's going to have to do the extra screen scrolls as well. And not get the special tile. It's going to cost him some time. He gets the no water battle. Same with Haxer. Ooh, six and nine, guys. Six and nine. Very nice, very nice. Both runners in the same level. Nice, Maiba can still get a point back. He's gotta get that flower star mushroom though, right? He's gotta get that flower star mushroom. Right, H jump. Haxer doesn't get H jump. This could uh, allow Maiba to come back. Haxer does get H jump, so Maiba has to do the H jump. So he doesn't bleed too much time. Looking pretty good, and he does nail it. Both runners very close to each other. Look at how close they are. One transition, the next transition. One person grabs the card, the other person grabs it right after. All right, Maiba needs to get a flower here. He does get the flower, so he is set up and ready to go. World three airship. Both runners have their proper items, so they don't have to worry so much. Nice. All right. Race three. I mean, Maiba isn't shining as much as he needs to, right? Maiba needs to be shining a little bit more. He needs to be in the lead. He's got he's to gotta be tied, if not have more points. Maiba did not get Flower Star Mushroom already. No. no, he didn't. You have to get Flower Star Mushroom at a certain point. Type exclamation tournament, guys. Read the rules. Read the rules. The rules are there to help you. Not hell to help you. No, this is definitely not over. Haxer would have to make a pretty big mistake, like accidental warp whistle, right? Anything can still happen. It's very hard, obviously, but anything can happen. Nice, get the fire kill. Maiba's turn at the fire kill. Very, very nice. Yeah, anything can happen. Does Haxer have his crowd control turned on? Just curious. No reason. <laughs> Alright, going off into World 4 here. Going off into World 4. Very, very nice. Early P-Speed. Maiba also going for the early P-Speed, and he does get it. Very nice for both of our runners. Very, very nice. 
Mima accidentally creating a little bit of lag, but he needs to get the star here to collect that point. Nice, does get the star. All right, Haxer in a very, very annoying situation here. If Haxer gets fanfare, all hell will break loose. He'll have too many lives, won't get the lives point. He'll have minus a point for fanfare, a whole bunch of, whole bunch of garbage that he does not want to deal with. Let's see how it goes. Does get the mushroom though, so he is safe. That's what Maiba needs. Maiba needs the mushroom. Does get the mushroom. So Maiba is now going to be able to get that point. Catching up a little bit. Trying to keep some of the points that Haxer is also getting. A little early. Both runners getting similar RNG. Although Maiba does unfortunately get a little bit of a big movement there. While he's trying to catch up to Haxer, he's got to get better Hammer Brother movements overall just to make it work. Nice, and Haxer does not get punished in this level like he did last time. Very, very nice. Maiba does this level two different ways. I mean, he's, he's pulling tricks. He's pulling tricks on us. Neither runner is going to get punished, man. There, That is a punishment point. And, uh... Nice, use that hammer. I think he's going to be able to fight the cloud here. Go up. Mm, Maiba not in a very friendly situation here. Not in a very friendly situation. Haxer does... Get the cloud though. Hammer Brothers are moving around for him. Boom, just like that. Very nice from both of our runners. Looking clean, looking clean. Swimming blind, he's good though. Haxer as well. He's gonna stay up top to watch. Just like that, both runners do a very good job, man. Very, very good job. Nice. Uh, man, Maiba's gonna have to get some magic here! Haxer using his music box. Maiba not getting magic. Um, unless this is the cloud, or sorry, the P-Wing. No, not the P-Wing. So RNG strikes again, dude. And then just like that, the RNG had its way with them. Alright, he's gonna get the... Yup, do that. that. That's actually a pretty good strategy. Grab that now, then do Mushroom House, then you're in the clear. If the Hammer Brother moves down for Haxer, he is also locked out of that of that point as well. Also locked out of that point as well. Let's see what happens to Haxor. Got lucky. Needs to remember which one is which. Maiba also gets early P speed. Haxer does get the P wing after Cloud. Both runners get the early P speed, and just like that, Haxer's gonna go to the Mushroom House, not do the double. And he gets the Fire Flower. It's just unstoppable. He can't, it, it, it doesn't work, and Maiba. No, Maiba's got the two P-Wings touching again! And that's it, man. These, I think, that's too much, man. Maiba's got the two P-Wings touching. The World 4 airship gives you a P-Wing. They're pretty much synced.
So I'm pretty much saying to Maiba, Maiba has a chance to beat Haxer in time. Right? If Maiba can do that, he can get some points, some extra points, and remember, career total, right? So, um, he can get some points. He is, he is pretty much synced with Haxer. So, I think Maiba's best chance right here, take the first place in speed and try and collect as many points as he can. Oh, man! Wow! Insane! Insane! He's in the lead by one second, though. I, there wasn't a whole lot I could tell him about the lifeline. I said, I said, if he goes for straight up speed, that'll be his opportunity to kind of, kind of take some points away from Haxer, gain some of his own points. I mean, this. There's not a whole lot that Maiba can do here. I mean, he's already behind by four points plus six, so he's behind by ten points right now. Right? And he just bumped on the overworld. And just like that. Right? I mean, my hands are on my cheeks as well. We're gonna have to watch out for Haxer. We're gonna have to go to his audio. Make sure he doesn't bump. All right, here we go. Haxer in first here with the points. All right, here we go. Both doing the slide strat. Again, it's not over. Any kind of mistake. I mean, so many things can happen. We're gonna have to double check Maiba's inventory. If Maiba's P-Wings are on two different pages, then he's fine, right? He's fine. Alright, so it looks like Haxer should be in control of his Hammer Brothers here. Should be in control of his Hammer Brothers. We've already seen a runner accidentally use a warp whistle. But being behind, being behind 10 points. Not entirely in control anymore. Making sure he doesn't bump on the overworld map, not going for the roulette game. Maiba gets the roulette game, he, he will have a- Ooh, and he does not get it. The Mushroom Flower Star. There is no point. There is no point for getting three different cards. Maiba's gonna use his P-Wing, get out of there, gonna use the star. Oh, hacks are missing the pipe here, see what I mean? If Maiba got the spade, didn't bump, and- Oh, man. Haxer might have some trouble getting the point here, you see? Start messing up the points, man! 284, 283, ha oh my gosh, 283, 280, 279, he's not gonna get the 280. Not getting the 280 there for Haxer. He's not gonna get the roulette game, right? So Maiba had a chance for two extra points here on top of Haxer. Maiba not slipping off and Maiba getting the 280 point, just like that. Haxer makes great work of 5-4. Maiba bumped though. Maiba bumped, man. That's a free point in World 5 as long as you take it slow, right? Especially if Haxer bumps as well. I mean, that's a, the loss of three points here because it, it seems like Haxer is not going to go for the spade games. Maiba with the movement of three. Oh, he's like getting P speed, but it's like not working. Nice. No coin ship. Oh, Haxer is gonna go for the spade roulette game. Okay. Mushroom, mushroom. Mushroom, and Haxer does get the mushrooms. And just like that, that's another point Maiba is not going to be able to have over Haxer. Maiba does take the, de the lead, though. Haxer loses P speed. Right on. Mm -hmm. 
Movement of four, that's everyone's nightmare. All right, so Maiba is actually gonna go back. Mushroom. Mushroom, this is it, Maiba, you need it. Mushroom, and he does get it. Very, very nice. Axe are still not bumping on the overworld map. The runner's just getting the dry bones, man. The dry bones at the end of this level is the worst enemy placement, man. I hate it. I hate it. All right, so Mida still has his hammer brother left. Gonna be able to get him a fire kill, so he might be able to catch up a little bit of time here. Haxer, gonna make great work of this level. Mida's gonna get early P-Speed, catch up a little bit on some frames here. Not a huge difference though, and just like that, man. Both runners have kept it super tight this entire time, man. Very close to each other. And Haxer does not bump, and just like that, Haxer's gonna get the no bump point. Meanwhile, Maiba unfortunately did bump. Just used the cloud into the hammer, brother. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, he's he should be able to get the fire kill here, which is good. Whoa, that was weird. Like loaded. Uh, what's wrong with using the cloud there? Yeah, he skipped level nine. Yeah, my best got his two P-Wings touching because he didn't mushroom has the at the end of World 4, unfortunately. So he's not gonna... So he's even further behind. He needs Haxer to mess that up, too. Very, very tough, man. Very tough for Maiba, man. These, um... I'm not sure if he's been practicing or I'm, I'm not sure if he's nervous, right? Or, or worried. Um, and he even loses out on a little bit of money here if... If he can't beat Zikubi's points, which is gonna be pretty tough. I mean, what did Zikubi get overall? Yeah, running warp lists and going for points are different things. Zigabi has 168 points, and how much does Maiba have right now? That's very important. I guess we'll find out after. Zigabi is out. Zigabi is out, yes. All right, Hax is going to be the first to enter World 6. Lots of RNG points here, man. Lots of points in World 6. All right, right there, Haxer gets up pattern and a little marathon. And so does Maiba. Both runners getting the high pattern. Not going to be able to secure that the RNG points there. Not going to be able to secure. Five, six, seven. Maiba almost has a coin ship here. Very scary, but he's going to be able to avoid it right here. Both runners have gotten the flower star mushroom, yes. All right, Haxer going to go for the 279. Looking pretty clean with it. 279, he does get it right there. 279, right there. Maiba is also on his way for the 279. Just like that, Maiba also gets the 279. Very nice from both of our runners. All right, Hax is on 6-4. Maiba is not super far behind, not like last time. Which is good, man, keep him on his toes. Both runners got high pattern though, sadly. Not much you can do about it. Maiba going to get early P-Speed here. Gonna be able to time advantage, and that scares me every time, man. That is a new one. Not seen that. Haxer can go for special tile, but he already got special tile. 
What's he gonna do here? He's gonna use the star. It's a low pattern. Not gonna help him though. Maiba needs him to go left. Maiba also getting the special tile. Maiba going to be able to catch up a little point right there with that special tile as long as he activates it. Is he gonna activate it? Oh my god, he's not act. Just like that. Just like that. That tile is a special special item tile. He could have got another point there. Boom. Very nice, very nice. Got had to get the extra hammer brother there. Alright, hammer brother on Haxer's side. Oh, Maiba with the coin ship as well! And he needs that item. Oh man, it's behind the rock. I uh... The whole world right now not working out for Maiba. He's using a cloud to not get a cloud, so now Maiba is down a cloud. I'm pretty sure that- I'm pretty sure he doesn't have any clouds left, which means... He might... He might have to... Do 7-4, guys. I don't think Maiba's got any clouds left. We're gonna we're gonna be able to check his inventory after this. Ooh, short hop there. He's gonna take damage, but he is gonna get his piece speed. So he, oh oh, he gets it back. All right, thank goodness. Very scary. Calco, small Mario. So he's probably gonna use a P wing here. Yeah, he's gotta go. I think he's gonna try and die here. Look at how slow coin ships are. Man, coin ships are the worst. I guess he's gonna complete it? I think it would be faster to die right there, but I'm not I'm not too sure. I haven't overly timed them. Oh, Haxer! Wow, he gets it, but he gets a bad sub-pixel. Not lucky enough. Ouch. Ouch. Oh my gosh, it's so scary. Gets his cloud back though. Gets his cloud back, so he it doesn't have to worry about 7 4 now. Got his hammer suit. Not gonna use a P wing. Where is the other mushroom though? There we go. Nice. Very nice. Oh, first frame block grab. Awesome. <laughs> that was the best 610 I've ever seen. I love that 610. Very, very nice. Oh man, a super unfortunate series of things here for, for Maiba. I mean, I don't know, I don't know what I can say um, to really justify everything that's happened. I mean, he's a, a couple slip ups, right? There's been a couple slip ups, a couple bad decisions. I mean, a coin ship. I, mean, I don't think I've ever seen him get a coin ship, right? It, it must be in his head right now. There, there's, there's gotta be something in his head. I mean, I think race one might have got him, you know, got to him a little bit. With that mistake with the hammer, like, if he's making a mistake like that and getting coin ships, he must be in the wrong mindset, right? And and for anyone to tell you that there isn't a particular mindset that you want to be in when co competing, especially for money or racing, they are definitely wrong. There is a, a zen, like, some kind of thing that you have to get yourself in so that you don't lose focus. Actually gets the sub-pixel manip, and he's good to go, right? Losing focus is very, very important for racing and, and competing.
Right? Forgetting items, forgetting inventory. Like, being in the zone is a very, very important thing. And uh, I feel like... I feel like Maiba just wasn't in the zone. Race one, he seemed he was doing fine. And then that one mistake. And then ever since then, it's it's been just a slight downhill. And uh, that's just not like him, man. He definitely is able to show off more than he's, than he's pulling here. And all these runners are fantastic. They're doing great. Just hard to... Hard to pull this one out. All right, Haxa goes for the first try. Misses it. He's got three, four tries left. Second try. Third try. Fourth try. He's got one more try. Oh, and he does not get it. Maiba does get the clip, though. Haxa gets it. Six. Try. What a slap in the face right there. Sixth try is slap in the face right there. Maiba does get the fire clip. He's going to be able to go for the fire kill now. Axer has almost used all of his stars. There you go. Maiba goes for the stuff. Picks the manipulation just like that. He is ready to go. He is ready to go. Axer does get early P-Speed. Or sorry, at least P-Speed in this level. And he is out of there. Does take damage. But I don't think that's going to affect him too much. I don't think that's going to hurt him too much. Uses Mushroom for safety. His inventory, his inventory seems very fine right now. Maiba got five tries. One. Two. Oh, he's got his head stuck. Three. Gets it third try. Gonna be able to secure that point right there. Gonna be able to secure that point. All right, Haxer does have his cloud. He's gonna be able to cloud across. He still has two clouds left, actually. There's going to be able to cloud at the end of this world where Maiba, unfortunately, I think is down a cloud right now. All right, he's going to go for the P-Speed. He's definitely not behind a whole lot in time. He can still catch up depending on hands and all of that fun jazz. All right, very, very nice. Both runners are making their way through. Both runners are making their way through. Haxor on item abuse island. He's just comfortably, comfortably using those items, man. He's got no, he's got no fears, man. He is, he's in the clear. And I, 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 I hate to say this, but I'm pretty sure he's got this in the bag. I mean, I, I can't imagine. You know, I can't imagine a scenario where, where, the, where he's not going to be able to bring this home. His, like, console, or even if his console crashes, he still gets to pause his timer and keep all of his points. Right? Nice. Maiba gonna go ahead and use that cloud. Hacks are gonna go for hammer suit. Ooh, messes up the duck jump. I think Haxer wants to go for a sub-54. Right, and he does. I think Haxer also has the extra hammer suit. I think he has the extra hammer suit just in case. Oh, he's gonna do this level. Is he gonna go for the clips? No, he's not. But he might go. Oh, he almost took damage. He's gonna go for the meme clip though. And uh, Maiba is definitely catching up a little bit. Haxer needs this hammer suit to pay off for this to be the right uh, move for speed. Definitely needs this to pay off. All right, he's gonna go for the mid clip. Try and get another point here. Oh, and he takes damage! That whole thing was a big waste of time. It's gonna allow Maiba to be able to catch up a little bit. Haxer does get mid clip though. So whatever, he's got the points. Totally worth it. Maiba double checking his items. Nice, he does make it across. Maiba's not gonna go for the hammer suit. At least I don't think so. Ooh, little short hop. He's gonna give him a different pattern here. Ax is gonna use the music box combo here. Maiba does take damage, but he's safe. He's out of there. He's good. He does have a P-Wing now. Does have a P-Wing. Nice. 
Nice, using that P-Wing to be able to grab that block. He's gonna go for the mid-clip again. Didn't work for him last time, but I want to see it work for him this time. Nice, and he does get mid-clip. Maiba is just starting to secure all of these points. Just too late. Just too late. Moving on to World 6. Or sorry, moving on to World 8. World 6. We're going back in time, guys. We're going back in time. Absolutely incredible, man. I'm loving every second. He's got to do this level, though, and he doesn't have a cloud for World 8, so he's, he's got to do everything here. Nice, very nicely done on my side. Not an easy thing to do, man. You gonna go for the Karua setup. Very nice, and he's on his way. That's it. Where did Maiba lose his cloud? He used it. That's right, he used it on. Oh, that's where it that's the biggest mistake right there. He used the cloud to skip 6-7, then went back. Then he went back. He went back for the um, the coin ship. That's what did it. He used the cloud to avoid a coin ship and ended up doing the coin ship anyways. Something's definitely in his head tonight. Something has definitely got him. And maybe the nerves against go going up against Haxer. I mean, Haxer's not Haxer's not an opponent where it's where you know you're not winning freely against Haxer. That's not how it works. Even my races against Haxer and GDQ. Of course, I've been nervous. Right. Of course I've been nervous. Yeah, Hax, Hax isn't free here. Haxer is not free here. And what's, uh, what are we looking at here? Haxer is two minutes behind his 5124. So it's not looking like Hax is going to be able to get the sub 54. Although he, I think he was trying for it, right? All right, we are in auto scroller land, so I can now hang out with chat. What is going on, chat? How do you guys feel about this? Uh, give me, give me your guys, give me guys, you know, the hot take on this race. I mean, we can't sit here and say maiba has been bad, right? We can't sit here, and, you know, and, and think that Maiba has been like some bad runner because he's been doing great. It's some, it's been the decisions, you know. Like, he's been playing really, really well. But the decisions. Points tournament is very, very based on decisions. Crazy shit happens, and it's scary too, guys. It's scary. Not easy competing. He's not stuck! Oh my goodness! Almost a death! Wow! That would have been scary, man. That would have been very, very scary. Very scary. Axer is on his way to try and go for... The Wranglis. We got the Wranglis. Bikini Babes. Yeah, Maiba was looking at his... At his magazines there. Right before he started to do the battle, kind of messed him up a little bit. He thought he had time to check out November's swimsuit, but didn't have enough time. He does have a fire flower though, so he's good. Alright, Haxer. Oh! Does not get Wrangless. Does not get Wrangless. Probably, I think he, that was the worst pattern he could have got. The almost wrangless, but not the delayed boomerang throw with the combination of him moving forward, the worst. The finals is on Sunday, and at the, we're only we're in World 8, and at this rate, it's gonna be iBooba versus the Haxor. It's gonna be iBooba versus the Haxor, and the beauty of it is both runners have a full week to practice this. Very interesting. 
And I mean, you know Maiba's gonna be practicing, you know Hax is gonna be practicing, you know Booba's gonna be practicing. And you know, I say Maiba because I, I like to be optimistic. I, I like to say that it's not over until it's over. Yup, 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 yup. It's been a good race. Maiba is on his way now to try and get Wrangless. Nice D leg strats. You love to see it. D leg strats. You love to see it. All right, Hax is gonna be the first one at the hands. Let's see, let's see what kind of hands he let's see what kind of hands he gets. He does have the two points here for the no items touching. Ooh, and Maiba cannot secure the Wrangless either, man. Very unfortunate. Gets center, gets center hand again. Nice, great work from hand two. Maiba is on the airship, or sorry, he's on the navy, is what it's called. The, the chocolate milk. What do you guys call that? The chocolate milk at the bottom? The the brown water? Sewage water? Blood. All right, save the animals, Haxer. Come on, Maiba, get out of the Goomba blood level. That's that's a lot there, Goomba blood. <laughs> All right, how many hands for Maiba? I mean, career total, right? He, he should still be trying to clean up as many points as he can. Career total, guys. It's all about that career total. And Haxer does get the no Rocky kills. Maiba also getting center hand. Take a sip of my water. They're going to use his star, and Maiba is out of there. Maiba only gets one hand. Axel with a little flip flop there. Big turn back, but he needed to. He's very close to that pipe. And just like that, he's out of 8 1. 8 1 is done. Maiba trying to save the animals here. Oh, and he takes damage. That is going to be the worst for a point there. You do get a point for not taking damage in World 8. Very, very rough. Axer is going to go for the sun now. Luckily, Maiba still has his hammer suit, though. He did not forget the hammer suit. Axer does get the hammer kill. Does the turn back. He's out of there. Maiba still has not killed one yet. Let's take damage. Tit for tat, I guess, right? They're like, all right, you won't kill us, we won't kill you. But we're still going to damage you. And Maiba does get the no Rocky points right there. Axer does get the sun kill right there. Boom. Bada bing, bada boom. Makes his way through the H. The last H of the game. So many H's. Why is there so many H's? Maiba's gonna be able to use his star here. Oh, he's gonna use his hammer suit. Preemptive hammer suit. You love to see it. Ooh, almost missed there. Oh, and he missed the hammer throw. So he's not going to be able to get the sun. As soon as he threw that hammer, I knew he missed it. That hammer is a, is a very particular spot. You have to throw it. Don't think he's going to be able to get the the sun here. Not sure how he's going to be able to get the sun. He did use the star. Maybe take the sands? Probably not. No reason to. He can't get the shell kill. He's, he needs a leaf for the shell kill. Um, gonna have to wait.
Hammer suit is the best, the best power up in the game. It's so good. So good. The, the hammers, the hammers maintain or, or retain or whatever you want, whatever it is, uh, the same speed and momentum as Mario. Whereas when you have the fire flower, the the fireballs are a set speed depending on what direction you build P speed initially, and that's a whole other complicated story. But anyways, if you're running forward and you shoot fireballs, you can run faster than your fireballs. But hammers. You throw hammers at the same speed that Mario's going, and faster, like, they have their own speed, and then it stacks on the P-speed speed. So it's crazy! It's, uh, that's what makes hammers so fun. Oh! Right on, right through there. You go for fire kill, and then make his way onto the auto-scroller. Haxer is on his way. Haxer does have 20 lives, we have to make sure he doesn't autopilot that one up. But I don't think he's going to. Don't think he's going to. Looks like Maiba is going to have to take the second place here. And Haxer will not be able to get the sub 54. Two non sub 54 games. That's really good for uh, that's really good for Ibuba because Ibuba was not busting out the sub 54s and was was certainly getting points. So that's actually kind of good for Ibuba if he's watching. He can he knows that okay Haxer uh, on the basis naturally and normally doesn't really get you know the hands he Haxer needs to rely on the hands to get those 54s that's a very important thing no peace be in the statue room and there you go he does get the kill so Haxer is going to get the 20 lives and the no damage and walk away with a 22 point game 22 point game very, very well done, and it looks just like that. It looks like Haxer is going to advance into the finals for Sunday, 7, sorry, 8 o'clock, 14, 25 o'clock. Check the schedule, guys. Exclamation tournament, it's on there. Right on. GG's to Haxer, 54-42. Just like that. Maiba can still get the 20 lives here. Maiva can still get the 20 lives here. Let's get the clip. Very nice. Does get the clip. Is he going to autopilot this one up? No, he's not. He just want to get his career total up. That's right. There we go. Pulls the double Karua, but he manages to nail it. Almost got shot. He finishes with 20 lives. Second place. He did take damage. Didn't get the sun. And that is it. 14 to 22. So what did Maiba get? 32 versus 46. Oh, 32. Sorry. 32. Forty-six. 